Look at this sunrise. That's about to come up. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be sick. Ow! But the bugs are so bad out here right now. I haven't been to this place in, I don't know, a couple weeks. I've been pretty busy. So I haven't been down here. This is like one of my favorite places to come fish top water. So I'm gonna tie it on a buzz bait. I got a little whopper popper tied on. Let's get out there and get us some biggins. <laughs> Get some action going. Oh my goodness. Making a quick adjustment, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a swim bait on instead of a crawl trailer. That would freaking happen, dude. I had my camera going for like three, four, five minutes and seriously turn it off. And as absolutely right as I turn it off, I get freaking hammered by this guy. Oh, dang. Woo -hoo. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna drop him. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped him. I almost dropped him right in the water. Bam. Okay, first fish. Wow, look how look how much these guys are just feeding up. They're already getting fat again after that spawn. Wow. Woo! Alright. It's a little bit slower this morning than it usually is, but the buzz bait came through. So first one, first one on the buzz of the day. Look how fatty that guy is. Big old bell. Beautiful. We got sunrise. All right, bud. Thanks for the fight. Thanks for the fight. Very, very calm and still out here this morning. Got really no wind. It's gonna be like, I don't know, 85 again today. It's gonna be hot. That's why I get out here early morning. It just gives me that opportunity to fish in some cooler weather and fish are typically biting a little bit better early in the morning, so. I think I just gotta slow it down just a, a wee bit. I think I'm going a little bit too fast. If you go too fast, sometimes that buzz bait will swim sideways. So you kind of want to, you got to get like the right speed when you're fishing a buzz bait. Otherwise it's just not, not as effective. All right, let's give this one more cast and then we'll switch over to the Whopper, see what happens. I guess it's not the Whopper. I have the Berkeley Chapo. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. I am so glad. Oh my gosh, guys. This fish is going crazy. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Calm down, dude. Calm down. Calm down. Whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Got him. I got him. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, that fish was so pissed off, dude. Oh. Ah. Woo! Woo! If you guys could tell how hard my heart is beating right now, guys. Woo! I'm sure you guys can hear it through the camera. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> what a fatty, dude. I think I got a scale on me right now. Let's see. I'm just gonna weigh it. I haven't been weighing fish lately. Tell me if you guys want me to weigh them or if you don't want me to weigh them or whatever you guys want. I mean, I don't mind weighing them. I can usually do it pretty quick as long as I got my scale on me. I have like three scales. Tell me I got one of them. Oh. All right, I don't have one on me. Dang. Okay. Dang guys, well, no scale. I just looked in my bag, I don't have one. I must have left it in the car. Uh, sick fish, okay, number two. That was only about three casts after my first one. What a beaut. Freaking pump, guys. Oh, she is just ready to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Seriously, if I get some more fish like that, it's gonna be sick. That fish jumped like four times. Freaking was so pissed off. I got up to the boat, it did not want to give up. Oh my, I'm surprised I got that fish in. Oh, I need to get my net fixed. A buzz bait, man. One of my favorite, favorite topwater baits. Man, you could throw anything on it. I got a little swim bait right here. So I got a black, black buzz bait, a little swim bait with, for a trailer. It's got a little chartreuse trail on it. I mean, the colors on that, you're like, what the heck? Uh, it just looks weird, but man, these fish seem to love it. I think that chartreuse just triggers their eye and obviously all the commotion of the buzz bait. And then they just, I don't know, man, they just aggressively attack this thing. Buzz bait fishing 101 here. I'll give you guys some tips. So just because I think a lot of people in Colorado probably don't fish the buzz bait a whole lot. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of a difficult bait to learn and use, especially because most of the time I would recommend throwing it on a bait caster. Um, if you guys don't know how to use a bait caster, make sure you got a pretty hefty spinning rod um, with a decent sized reel on it. It's because these things, I mean, if you're throwing a bigger one, there are smaller buzz baits that you can get and they, I mean, they work for smaller fish, but when you're when you're hunting bigger bass, you're using obviously a bigger buzz bait, bigger trailer. You're gonna need a little bit bigger of a rod and reel. So I got right here is just a seven foot uh, medium heavy. I got a lose mock speed spool on there. And this has got a high gear ratio. I think it's got a seven one. So you're gonna be wanting to reel that buzz bait really quick. Keep that thing on top of the water. I make super long casts with this thing. I mean, I when I spool up my reel on this, I make sure I have a lot of line. I do that with my whopper plopper, my buzz baits, because I can cast this thing so far, and you want far casts when you're fishing a buzz bait. You're gonna be catching fish far away from you. So, also brings me to my next point, you're gonna want some strong line. So when you're fishing a buzz bait, oh, I'm gonna recommend anything like 12 plus, I mean really, I probably wouldn't even go down to 12. I'd go to like 15 pound plus. So again, you're gonna need a bigger reel, bait caster probably. And then uh, if you're using a spinning reel, you're gonna need a, a bigger spinning reel. Cause you're gonna need more line, thicker line to make those long bomb casts. Don't be afraid to make commotion with this thing. That's what it's for, I mean throw it in front of logs, throw it in front of cover. When you cast, you literally need to start reeling like almost before it hits the water just to bring that bait up to the top right away as I bird nest. Get that bird nest out of there. You're throwing a heavy, heavier bait, so it's, you're gonna get a little bit more bird nest sometimes. Just try not to whip it. You just want to be a little bit smoother with your cast. Sometimes when you start whipping it, that's when you're gonna kind of bird nest up. But make sure you have good thumb control if you're using a bait caster. You want to make sure your thumb is near that reel when that thing hits the water. So boom, reel right away, and it pops that thing right up. I mean, usually if you have a decent sized buzz bait and a decent sized trailer on there, it's gonna take a while for that thing to kind of sink can fish these things a little bit submerged. That's why I'm kind of fishing a little bit slower today. These guys seem to like, yep. I just had one hit it. Yep, look at that. On the fall, guys. 
on the fall. He seems pretty decent. Don't you jump. No, he's little. He's little. Hit it on the fall. We were just talking about it. Man, they're really uh, targeting on bait fish right now. I had the uh, crawl trailer on there and I wasn't getting any bites on it. Not saying I wouldn't have caught anything, but I switched over to the swim bait pretty quick and it seems like these guys are definitely targeting uh, bait fish and moving fish. Looks like it rained a bunch last night too. So this water is definitely gonna be muddied up. I can tell it's, it's, it's a lot muddier than it normally is. I maybe got like six to seven inches of visibility. So I'm sure this bright little tail is helping a bunch. Just lets them kind of key in. Every fish has came up and ate it from behind too. So they've just swallowed the thing. There's another one. Oh, another one just came up and pecked at it. So this is what I would consider a high percentage area, guys. You got some very good transitions here. So steep bank, you got wood. It starts off wood. You got some grass mix in between. This just jumped right behind me. And then you got a good grass run. So this is definitely a high percentage area. You wanna make a cast close as you can to those cattails. That was not, probably not close enough, but it'll work. There's just a lot of good transition points right here. I know there's grass down here too on the bottom. So it's just a good area. Kind of stuff you want to look for when you're out fishing especially when you're out fishing new waters and you're struggling to find fish look for good key areas like this and work them good work them in different angles and try different baits if you're not catching them right away i mean don't give up on a spot like this There we go. Just slow rolling it, guys. I'm like slow rolling the buzz bait. Another little one. That'll show you though, these fish. Not just big ones, but little guys will eat these big baits like this too. So I'm kind of just slow rolling this thing like to where it's like barely fluttering on the top. And that seems to be getting me like more reaction bites for some reason. I don't know why it's like slowed down today. Maybe I should, I don't, I don't know. Oh, there we go, right away. Oh, that might be a decent fish, guys. That might be a decent fish. be a couple pounders nope <laughs> just a little guy he's fat though healthy he came shallow ooh got a little scar back there or something just a little guy he was fighting like a champ, man. I thought I had a way bigger fish on and he came up and splashed. I thought that was like a lot bigger of a fish. Good effort, my man. This thing's the business right now. I was gonna switch over to the Whopper, but I mean, I'm not getting cat like bites every cast, but like every, I don't know, five to six, seven, eight casts, I'm getting a bite. So I'm gonna stick with it. Sun. It's kind of blocked by the clouds right now, so it's giving me just a nice cover, and I actually got some wind coming in now, so I don't know. It might get better. Let's see. You guys, I missed I missed my PB over here. Long time ago on a buzz bait. On a very, very similar morning to this. Oh my gosh, this is not a big fish, guys. Oh! Oh my. 
Yeah, dude. <sighs> Look at this. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, he hit it! Right on the fall, dude! Oh! Shit! Pardon my French. That was a freaking nice fish, guys. Oh my gosh. I knew I didn't have a good good hook on him. I casted it and like I was looking up at these bugs and oh no. Why are these fish like jumping like mad today? Oh. oh, I was trying to keep him down. He just wanted to jump. He just wanted to jump. And so what the heck did I just eat? There we go. There we go. Oh my. There's another nice one. Don't you dare do it. Don't you jump. Oh my gosh. Woo. What? 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 Yes! I freaking lose a fish. Two casts later, smash another one. Oh, yes. You guys. Oh, no way. Oh. Dude, does that dude have a. Look at that. Is that a hook mark? Is that the same fish? He looks like he's kind of bleeding right here. Or even right there. I don't know, dude. It might be the same fish. He might have came back for it. Look at that. I don't know if that's a hook mark from where... Dude, look at that. That is it. That is it. This is the same fish. He came back for it again. So I just hooked him over here. But he's got a freshy hook mark right in his lip. Wow. That is so sick, guys. What? <laughs> Look how skinny this one is compared to the last one. This guy must have spawned a little bit later, I'm assuming. And he's just trying to feed back up. Love being able to come out here and just crush him on top water for a couple hours in the morning. And then switch over to something different. Oh my gosh, these fish are so aggressive right now. Cheers. Yes so happy so happy I'm pretty sure that was the same fish it looked like it had a freshy hook mark in its lip <sighs> you guys if this topwater bite keeps up it's gonna be one epic morning oh god we got another one guys we got a nice fish oh <sighs> he's under the boat he's under the boat <clears throat> I missed the jump. He jumped so high. The first jump was ridiculous. Okay. All right. Don't jump. Oh, yes. Woo. Oh, and it just fell out. Bam. Dang, all these fish are just healthy, healthy fatties, guys. They are feeding up so nice after their spawn, man. Oh, that's why I love this place. Fish are long and thick. My goodness. Woo! Sick. Nope. I knew I was gonna get something off those cattails. Alright. Little guy. We'll take him. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. Alright, guys. I think I'm done with topwater. It kind of slowed down. 
so I'm rolling up to the dock. Got the 10 inch worm tied on. It's gonna catch me a 10 pounder right now. I hope. All right, we just missed one under the dock on the 10 inch worm. He only has a tail. There we go. There we go. That's a fish. There's a fish on the 10 inch worm. Oh, shoot. Whoa. 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 Are you the same guy? Are you the same guy that tried to eat me before? Look at that chunky monk. There we go. On the 10 inch worm, baby. Peace. Bow, 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 bow. Woo! That's it, everybody. There goes another one. All right. Nice little top water action this morning. Got the boat all packed up, ready to go home, guys. I spent a couple hours out here. Caught a decent amount of fish. I'm very, very happy on how the day went. But I will see you guys on another one. Thank you for watching Colorado Bass. Click the like button down below and please subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys next time.